Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, your average roofer here. If you weren't here for last video, we went over installation of starter strips on your roof. Today, we are gonna be going over how to actually start your shingles. When it comes to shingling your roof, there are several ways to do it, but there is one method that most manufacturers of shingles actually recommend, and that is the stagger pattern. It's five shingles high, staggered approximately eight inches at the seams, and you continue that all the way up your roof, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So now that you've got your starter strips installed all the way along your eaves and up your gables, first thing you're gonna wanna do is take a full shingle, and you're gonna go flush along the eave starter, and flush along the rake starter. And now that you have that in place, that shingle will get nailed just like that. Um, most commonly, you're gonna use a four nail pattern unless you're in a high wind zone and that's your code. Um, here in Ontario, we have a high wind zone uh, code. So we'd have to put six nails. So how you nail that is you go one at the end, four evenly spaced in the center and another one at the end. And that'll give you your six nails. If you're doing four nails, you just evenly space four nails all the way across your shingle. So now that you've got your first shingle installed, what you're gonna to wanna to do is cut your second shingle. An easy way to do this is if you have any standard roofing knife, it's approximately six to eight inches. That gives you your exact mark where you wanna cut it. Or there's another method for cutting shingles. If you take them upside down, you can go off the width of the center of your shingle and that'll give you your stagger. So as for this method, I've lined it up to the center of my other shingle that I have upside down here. I'm gonna take my knife right here and I'm gonna follow it straight down. So using one shingle to mark your other shingle to do your first cut is one method of doing it. What I prefer to do because I am a little more experienced, I will take my knife and I will mark out my first, my second, and that'll be my cut. So now that you've got your first shingle installed, you've cut your five courses. What you're going to do is you're going to take your first shingle, or your next shingle, sorry. You're going to go flush on your gable again. And if you come in here, you can see the double laminate line on the shingle there. You're gonna wanna match the very bottom of your shingle up to that line. So I'll show you an example here, like so. And you can see how it's perfectly matched up right there to the line. So when it comes to nailing your shingle, uh, most manufacturers put a white line or a pink line or some, some sort of line on the shingle and that's going to give you your guide on where to nail. Sometimes um, during shipping, the shingle gets worn out and you won't be able to see that line anymore. So I'll give you an example here of what you're actually nailing for. So if you look at the end of your shingle, you can see there's a doubled laminate there in the center where the bottom of the shingle and the top of the shingle cross over each other. That's where you want to nail the shingle. Don't nail too high or it won't have enough strength to hold against wind. Don't nail too low because your nails are going to be exposed on your roof. When you're shingling your roof and you're actually installing your nails, always make sure your seam line does not land on top of another nail. So if you're nailing this shingle, make sure your nails are always approximately six inches away from the water lines because those can eventually grab water, rust out and cause a leak.
So now that you got your stagger started, what you're gonna wanna do is use full shingles all the way across the far end gable. You're gonna continue that all the way up and then you're gonna start with another full shingle and continue the same pattern all the way up the gable. So now that you've gotten down to the far end gable of your roof, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna lay your shingle in place where it's gonna go. And as you can see, it's overhanging. What you're gonna wanna do is cut that straight with your starter strip below. And that's how you finish off this end gable. So that's everything for today's video on how to install your shingles and start your roof. Stay tuned until next time. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys later.